Hey, America, it's Georgia and me. You know, after a hard day of baling hay and wrestling bears, old Georgia girl's a bear wrestler, if you didn't know that. We like to sit down and relax and watch the old boot too. And since it's President Pickin season, we've been watching all the major American networks and a couple of Russian ones too, if you know what I mean. So we can find out what those candidates' platforms are, what their agenda is. You know, but old Georgia girl and I, we're not, um, girl, how can we say this politically correct? That's a good choice of words, girl. We're not overly enthused with our selection of candidates this year. So old Georgia girl turns to me and goes, Papa seat. You need to run for president of the United States of America. But I told the old Georgia girl, I'm not running for president of the United States of America because I don't want to have a bunch of white hair. I mean, goodness gracious, America. See former President Clinton lately? All he's got to do is grow a beard and he could be the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade Santa Claus. No, that's not for me. So I turned to old Georgia. I said, Georgia, your time has come. Your country needs you. You, Georgia B. Ham, need to run for President of the United States of America. Now, America, I know what you're thinking. I'm back to Ham running for President of the United States. But I'm going to tell you what, she's a smart old hound, though. Matter of fact, she learned all of her leadership characteristics and traits from one of America's greatest leaders, Teddy Roosevelt. Darn good she did. No horse feathers here, America. Matter of fact, she rode up San Juan Hill with old Teddy on the back of that horse. You know what the name of what that horse was? Texas. Now, now Texas is a great state. Been there a couple of times. And it's a dandy name for a horse. But if you're on the family feud, that's a horrible answer. Did y'all watch that episode, America? Oh, Steve asked this question. Name something that men make for women that's uncomfortable. And the guy says, Texas. I mean, Georgia couldn't believe that answer. I looked down at her, and her jaw was down on the couch. I, she was just fat. Now, Georgia, you know what we need to do? We need to get on Amazon and order old Mama Cita a pair of them Texas. Georgia, you can buy anything on Amazon. You can buy a box of lightning bolts off of Amazon. Can of Thunder sold separately. Now, I don't know what size Texas Mama Cita wears. Now, let's ask her. Mail order! Mail order! What size Texas you wear? Say again! Oh, dog in Georgia. She wears those Amarillo size. Two thumbs up, America. Now I'm going to take Oh, Georgia, she's planning ahead. She's already figured out who her running mate is and one of her top cabinet positions. So, Georgia, we got to go get them. Come on, girl. Let's go. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you the next Vice President of the United States of America, Luna Husky. Come on, Luna. Now, America, I'm going to sit here and tell you something. Old George Grove, she made a wise choice in picking old Luna because they're going to make history. It'll be the first time that there's two females in the White House at the same time. But I'm going to sit and tell you something. There's another reason old Georgia girl picked old Luna. Actually, Luna told Georgia she wanted to be vice president, herself, vice president herself. Because, see, old Luna girl, or Georgia, excuse me, she likes to get up at old dark thirty and start tweeting. But America, you don't need a president that gets up at old dark thirty and starts sensing Tweets out here and there, tweet here and a tweet there. And so, old Luna girl, she is not going to allow your president to do that. I love you too, girl. Oh, yes, yes, girl, I know. Matter of fact, old Luna girl, 
Learn that I love you. But you can stop doing it. Okay. So anyways, back to the script. Oh, little girl, before Georgia goes to bed at night, takes her cell phone away from her. Matter of fact, doesn't give it to her until she's had a little breakfast and coffee in the morning. That way old Georgia can straighten up and get a little bit awake and not be sending no treats out. So that's why Luna Husky is going to be the next Vice President of the United States. So, Luna, I know you're a pretty girl, but you're going to have to exit stage left because we got to bring in our next cabinet position. And for your participation today, we have a treat for you. Do you want bacon or bologna? Okay, let's go get it. Come on, let's go. Come on, pups. So, America, I would like to introduce to you the next Secretary of Defense, Bubba Bassett Hound. Bubba, turn around and say hello, America. Oh, my God. Anyways, I'll tell you what. Now, normally, the Secretary of Defense position should be filled with somebody that's a tad older, a little bit more mature, probably kind of like a, an elder statesman. But I'm going to sit here and tell you something. Old Bubba, he's a good old hound dog. But there's a reason why Georgia picked Bubba to be Secretary of Defense. You see, Georgia has a magic alfalfa pit patch out there in the back 40. And old Bubba goes out there and he defends it. Bubba is not a bar dog. He is a defense dog. Matter of fact, I don't want you to tell Georgia this. I give old Bubba a 32 ounce Red Bull every morning to keep him going out there. But, there, the, but the main reason old Georgia picked him is that this one time there was a couple of black crows. They were circling above trying to get into Georgia's patch. And old Bubba, he was playing possum. He was down his high side like he was a marine sniper. But he, like I told you, he was playing possum, so he was keeping one eye open. And them old black crows, they come up, streaming down, trying to get into George's pants. And old Bubba, though, he hopped up on all fours, he took off a runner and he jumped about 10 feet in air. And he slapped that first crow down and he grabbed that second one by the throat. Then down to the ground did they go a tumbling. As a matter of fact, old Bubba, he just put a whooping on them blackbirds. Matter of fact, they never came back. You know why, America? Because Bubba ate them. Bubba don't take no prisoners. He eats them. So that's why old George Little picked old Bubba to be the next Secretary of Defense. So, well, Georgia, you've been chomping at the bit to say something. Why don't you go ahead and just spin her out? The election's over. Well, why didn't you say something? Well, who won? Say it again, girl. I don't have my hearing aids in. Donald Trump. And uh, what reputable news agency, agency did you hear this? Georgia, you know that CNN doesn't count. Did you change the channel, girl? MSNBC! Georgia, they're wishy-washy. They're like a washing machine. You go a little bit to the right, then a little bit to the left. Did you change the channel again, girl? Well, slap me south of the border, Georgia. We got us a winner. Hey, on second thought, don't do that. He's building a wall. I may not get back. Well, America, it looks like old Georgia girl won't be running this year. But I'll tell you what, Georgia, you can run in 2020. That gives us a couple of years of doing some strategizing. We can get out there and hit the campaign trail. 
Matter of fact, you know, in New Georgia, they can get on Saturday Night Live. You know, if they got them debates, I know that you would win those debates if we get on Saturday Night Live. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to start getting out there on that campaign trail. So, America, in a couple of weeks, we're going to tell you what Georgia's agenda is. And until that time, God bless you, peace be with you, Georgia and me out.